Hi girls, it's Mr. Betcher here and I thought I'd give you a quick lesson in a few things that I think you need to know to do this task. Um, maybe you've already made a start on this uh, and that's great, um, but I did mention in the task that I wanted you to make some calculations about how you would figure out which plan is which. And I just want to point a couple of things out to you about when you're browsing for plans. So here we go. This is the Telstra website. Um, and I just want to point down here to this one here. It says mobiles and prepaid. So if you're looking for information, that's obviously where you'd go. So let's click on that. And it takes you to this page here. Now, you're probably well aware that you can get uh, different types of plans. There's mobiles on a plan. That's where you get a new mobile and it goes on a plan and you're locked into a contract. And contract is typically 12 to 24 months. Um, and you are basically committed to paying that monthly fee every month, regardless of... Uh, how many phone calls you do or don't make. If you make more than a certain amount, they can charge you more, but if you make less than the amount, then obviously you still pay the, the monthly charge. So there's that. Good thing about those is you get a you get a mobile phone included generally for free or at a fairly uh, uh, cheaper price because it's subsidized. You're not really getting the phone for free. In fact, uh, as you uh, pay your monthly charge, you're in fact paying off the phone in small amounts. They don't really tell you that, but that's what's happening. Then, of course, there's the prepaid mobiles, and, and no doubt you're all familiar with that. I'm sure many of you have prepaid mobiles, uh, so you know how that works. You uh, simply just top up the the uh, uh, amount every time it gets low, and you keep using your phone. Let me just go back to that previous screen. And there's also this, uh, this one here called BYO Mobile Plans, and that's when you've got a phone that's in perfectly good order. You don't need a new phone. You just need to get a plan to go with it. Being on a plan is always going to be a good deal compared to um, uh, prepaid because they, they want to tie you in for a contract period. And so you generally get offered um, you know, what, what at first on the surface can seem like a better deal. So, so I want to take you into this mobile on a plan business here. So let's go in and have a look at that. And so you see here we have... Now Telstra do things differently. All the carriers do things differently. So on Telstra, they actually sell their plans... Um, as what they call small, medium, large, and extra large. And each one of these uh, these plans actually has, they'll give you a certain amount of value for talk and um, MMS, that's the, the multimedia messaging. Um, uh, mostly they'll give you a separate allowance for text messaging. Uh, Telstra's pretty good because they give you unlimited texts, as they should. Text messaging is so little data that um, it's, honestly, it's criminal what some people charge for it. Um, and they give you an amount of data. And you simply pick which uh, plan you want and then decide whether you're bringing your own phone, and that's how much it will cost, or whether you want a new phone. And you can see the price difference between bringing your own phone and getting a phone with it, and that's the subsidized price. That's what pays for the handset. Just for comparison, let's flip over here to Optus. Um, so again, I went to the Optus website um, and clicked on their mobile phone plans, and it's taken me in here. And so you can see I've got, uh, I, I picked the iPhone on this one and it, it takes me through. I can choose my color and which model I want and all the rest of it. But what I'm really interested in is the plans and how they work. Now, the bit I don't want you to miss on either of these websites, and of course there's Vodafone as well, but I'm just using Telstra and Optus here. Uh, you, you can certainly go and have a look at Voda. Uh, and you'll find similar kinds of things. If I go over here to the Telstra site, again, let's, let's go back here. Let's just pick the small plan. So you get... $600 of value. Well, what does that actually mean? $600 of value, that could be anything. Does, I mean, it sounds like a lot of money, $600, but you know, if I told you the phone calls are you know, $300 each and you get two phone calls, I mean, you can see that $600 of value doesn't really mean anything unless you know what a call costs. And then you can start to make some actual comparisons. So this is a very, I think, misleading thing that the... Um, uh, telecommunications providers do by talking about this sort of monopoly money approach to to how much value they give you. That $600 really is meaningless unless you know how many calls or how much data or whatever it's buying you. Now, they don't make it that easy to find out. Um, let's just click on this again. I'm going to assume we're getting a new mobile phone in this plan. So let's just click on that there and this opens up. Okay, and it's all very shiny here. You can you can you know, choose your mobile phone. I've got all these nice phones you can pick from. That's great. In fact, if you click on one, you know it goes into a little bit more detail and tells you what you'll get and tells you all the wonderful things about this phone. Still doesn't really go into any detail about the cost of calls, which you know <laughs> is kind of misleading. 
So let's just come out of here because that's not telling me what I need. What you're looking for, if you scroll down the bottom of the page here, you'll see it says view the critical information summaries for key details of this plan, what you need to pay, the contract length and the charges that apply if you cancel early. This is the important information. And of course, you'll notice it's, uh, you know, compared to everything else on the page, it's really kind of, you know, tucked away down at the bottom there where they hope no one will actually notice it. So I'm, I will just take you into it. I've actually opened it already. So let's just go into here. So this is the critical information document for the $60 Everyday Connect plan. And so there's some information there. This is the fine print that I want you to read. Um, I'd like you to read the Telstra versions. I'd like you to read the Optus versions. I'd like you to read the Vodafone versions and, and whoever else you want to go with. But they're the three main carriers. Uh, if we just go and head over to Optus for a sec, you'll see on the Optus page as well, um, let's just compare, uh, say, the $35 plan. You'll notice it's got a whole bunch of information here, but again, hidden down here, it says critical information summary. That's the bit you want. And again, I've already opened it in advance, so here it is. So this is Optus's critical information summary. It's a PDF file, and this was Telstra's. Again, it's a PDF file. Now, what um, we need to get past here is is the fluffy stuff that they like to tell you that sounds great and get down into the actual stuff that tells you what you'll pay because that's what's important. So they're telling you here your monthly call allowance is $600, but like I say, that doesn't really mean much. Um, if we scroll down a little bit here, this is kind of where we get a little bit more information. They're talking here about the call and MMS charges, so let's just have a look at what a call would cost. So a national call, a national call is a phone call made within Australia. So we're not talking about, uh, you know, calling overseas or anything. This is just local calls within Australia. They'll cost you a 40 cent call connection fee. Now, sometimes that's called flag fall. And then 99 cents per 60 seconds. All right. Now, I just want to just take you over here for a second. I've gone into my Google Drive and I've hit the create button here and I've said create a spreadsheet. Okay. So a spreadsheet... I don't know how much you've done with spreadsheets in the past, but I really think you should use a spreadsheet for some of your calculations uh, on, on this task. So let me show you how I would do that. So we said, if I just flip back and get that information again, we said the call was 40 cents to be connected and 99 cents per 30 seconds. So on the spreadsheet, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a little uh, comparison chart for a number of different plans so I've got sort of two set up here already, but I'd like you to actually compare several. So for a connection fee, we said it was 40 cents. Now, uh, we'll be dealing in dollars, so 40 cents is really 0 0.40. So I'll say 0 0.40. And as I click away from that, okay, it actually rounds it off to 0 0.4. We'll come back and fix that in a sec. And we said the cost per 30 seconds for that Telstra plan was 99 cents, or we'd have to write 0.99, okay? So flag fall, cost per 30 seconds. Now, what I'd like you to use the spreadsheet for is to calculate how much a two minute, five minute, 10 minute, and a 15 minute call would cost. So a two minute call, let's just do the maths for a second. Now, again, I'm not sure what you already know about spreadsheets, but this is computing applications, it's time to learn. Um, you, uh, you, you do a calculation in a spreadsheet by starting with an equal sign. So you always type an equals, and then we can use the, the cells to multiply. Now you'll notice um, that this point 0.4 is in column B, row two. So this is what's known as B2. If I click on it, you'll see it actually starts to fill in my little formula here, it puts B2. So the call costs 40 cents or what's in B2. And plus it also costs 99 cents per, per minute. And we wanna know how much a two minute call is. So what we do is in brackets, put whatever's in cell C2, which happens to be 0.99, times, and on a spreadsheet, you use a, um, an asterisk to do multiplication, times two minutes, okay? Now, so what we're saying there, that's, so sorry for the uh, very quick spreadsheet lesson here, but that formula is saying, the contents of this cell are going to be equal to what's ever in B2 plus two times whatever's in C2. Make sense? Okay, when I press enter, it will do the calculation for me and it says that call will cost me $2.38. Now, if I just flip back, over, flip back over to the Telstra site again, you'll notice it does actually tell you here a two-minute standard national mobile call costs $2.38. 
So our calculations are correct. We're, we're doing it correctly. What I'm interested in doing then is to say, okay, well, what would a five-minute call cost? Let's just do it again. So it would be equals the flag fall. So that's in B2. So we'll click there. And it will be plus whatever's in C2, which is the 99 cents. We'll do that. Times, with an asterisk, this is a five-minute call. So we'd say five, close the brackets, and then press enter. And that would calculate. So it will be a $5.35 call. Let's just do the same thing for this one here. So it would be equals, we'll do the flag fall, plus, open your brackets, the cost per minute times the number of minutes. So that's 10 in this case. So we'll close that bracket off like that. So that's $10.30, 10.3, for a 10 minute call. And finally, let's just do the 15 minute call. So we'd be equal to uh, the flag fall plus open up your brackets and say the per minute cost times uh, 15. Close that off and there you go. So we're getting pretty close to a minute, uh, a, a, well, yeah, a, a dollar a minute for a call. And of course, the shorter your calls are, the more expensive it is because you've got that initial flag fall cost. So I'm just going to select all those cells there. Like, I'm oh, sorry, pardon me, get my mouse drag across those cells and I'm just going to press a little dollar sign here up in the toolbar and that will convert them all to dollars. So there's your call costs for that Telstra Everyday Connect plan. Let's just see how the Optus plan compares. So I will go over to the critical information summary here for Optus. So they are charging for a standard national call. Now it gets complicated. They're charging a different rate if you're calling an Optus mobile than if you're calling... Uh, oh, actually they're not... They're, They've got it listed as two different things, but they're not actually charging a different price. That's interesting. Okay. So they're charging a 35 cent flag fall at 90 cents per minute. So I think you can see already that we're going to end up cheaper, right? So we said it was 0.35, 35 cent flag fall, and 90 cents, oops, point, point 0.90, 90 cents. Uh, I might just turn all these into dollars as well. Okay. So let's... Did that work? There you go. Uh, okay, so let's just do the math on that as well. Now, with a spreadsheet, because we've actually already done the formulas, if I grab it in the corner here, see that tiny little blue square in the corner? If you grab that and pull it down, it will actually take that formula and copy it down into the cell below. And we can do that to all the others. I'm just going to drag all of that across there, grab it by the corner, and drag it down one and that, that just brings the formula down into the next cell, but it uses the numbers in that, um, in that row. So you can see that already we know that you know, on this Optus $35 plan, our, our calls are cheaper, not a lot, but a little bit cheaper than the Telstra plan. Now, that's just two examples. I think it's really important. Oh, by, by the way, um, we said that uh, this Telstra plan here uh, what did they say that gives us? How much credit? $600 worth of credit. So let's just do a little bit of maths here. Let's just say, um, let's just take this and we'll say what would happen? How many 10 minute calls could we make for $600? So let's, in this cell, let's calculate equals $600 divided by, divided by as a slash in a spreadsheet, um, the cost for the 10 minute call. So that was 10 minutes 30. Let's just press enter to that. We'll just round that off. We've got way too many decimal places there. Let's uh, just get to uh, two decimal places. That'll do. So $600 worth of calls, if they were 10-minute calls, you'd get about 58 calls. Now, I don't know how many calls you make in a month, um, but if you consider some of the people that you've got to work with in your uh, the six people I gave you, some of those we said spent several hours a day on the phone. So a plan like that, you have to wonder how effective that's going to uh, last a person. If we said, um, I think it was, uh, I forget the guy's name, was it Aaron? One of the guys had um, several hours a day on the phone. Well, if you do the math now and think about, well, if it's uh, about $10 for a 10 minute call, that means it's going to cost you about $60 for an hour's worth of calls. If he's doing two hours worth of calls a day, 
then you're looking about $120 worth of calls a day and he's got $600 credit on that plan. Is that going to be the right plan? Okay, I think you can work out the answer to that. My point is from all of this, my point is when you go to the websites to look, don't just look at the shiny stuff that's in front of you. Go down and find the critical information summaries because that's where the real information is kept, okay, on whatever site you happen to be looking at. Once you get to those critical information summaries, have a look in detail about how it works because it uh, really does make a big difference. And then once you've extracted that information out, then what you do is set up yourself a spreadsheet and start to actually compare some of the plans. I would really like to see a spreadsheet like this. Uh, you don't have to do it exactly like this, okay? However you think it makes sense to express it, but I would like to see some calculations done on the raw information to get some meaningful information out of it about what these numbers actually mean. What is $600 worth of credit a month? What is that, would it last? Uh, how would it last, each of these people? Okay, and then once you've figured that out, then you can go back to the, to the websites for Telstra, Optus, Vodafone and start looking at what plans then would really meet the needs of some of these people. Then you can factor in things like, you know, like for example, the woman who works in, uh, in the Outback, you know, would she be better off on an Optus plan financially? Probably, seems to be cheaper calls, but now you need to look at the, the service range and where, you know, where you can get range with some of these things. Now, Telstra, um, I'm sure you're aware, generally has a better network and more coverage. So if that's an important factor, like it would be for the Alice Springs lady, you'd need to factor that in. All right, so there's a bunch of stuff there you need to think about. Um, sorry for rambling on a bit, but I think uh, if you watch this video all the way through, and even if you rewind a bit and go back to some of those bits you might have missed, and of course, as usual, if you have any questions, just get back to me, and um, we'll go from there. Have a great weekend.